Hello, Abs here, and welcome back to Abs' Live. It's been an absolute crazy week on Twitch this week with gambling, scamming, revenue splits changing, creators and leaving, and just there's so much going on that it's just like, <laughs> uh, and I think it's finally sunk into creators that the long term jevity of Twitch uh, may be in trouble. So people are thinking of different options and maybe going over to YouTube and with the whole ad system as well for Twitch being implemented, this is crazy. You have to watch 6 to 12 ads even before you watch a stream. So if you want to watch a small streamer, you're never going to be able to watch them because you're just going to be bombarded with ads even before you've wanted to check them out. So Jerma did talk about this, one of the most creative content creators slash streamers I've ever seen. He did the dollhouse that we we'll see in just a moment. But he said this on the situation with the ads on Twitch. If I am forced to run ads on this platform, I will leave this platform. 100%. So I I'm not going to be forced to run ads. Now, here here's the thing. Ads do play. Pre-rolls play. And I don't really have that much control over that. I do have control over if one essentially runs while you're sitting here. And I don't want to do that. I, I don't want to run ads. So that was German's take on the whole ad situation on Twitch. To be honest, I think it would be a massive win for him to go over to YouTube and stream on YouTube. He really fits that creative kind of flow and doing like the big events that he does. I think him moving to YouTube would just work hand in hand. It really would. And Nimp uh, Low also said about this, about the situation with ads. Before the ship goes down, I don't really know what's going on, but I have and will be continuing to be focusing on my YouTube channel um, because YouTube is probably, probably going to be here for quite some time. So I'm not really sure what they're doing. I have no idea. Uh, Jerma said he'd leave Twitch if he's forced to play ads. See, I'm surprised, I'm surprised he wasn't forced already. So that's kind of nuts as well. Two, two of the biggest streamers thinking about moving as well. But on top of that, Truffle also tweeted out, and uh, Truffle, if you do not know, is an extension that Ludwig and Otto have built uh, in order to make the YouTube live streaming experience a lot better. You can get channel points, predictions, better emotes, and the chat is less kind of like... You know when you go for a toilet and it's just flowing? Instead, this is more like a trickle uh, with the chat, and it's a lot more better. But on top of that, Iron Mouse also signed up for the waiting list in order to try out a stream on YouTube and also Point Crow, another two big massive streamers and in the 0.1% of Twitch. So all these top streamers are thinking about maybe streaming on YouTube and that would be huge. It really would. It's a really good platform. Yes, some of the features are really down and maybe they can improve over time, but I really do think that YouTube is the better platform for live streaming long term. The only thing Twitch kind of holds over the live streaming space at the moment is Twitch Prime. I will show you here. Uh, you can use a Twitch Prime if you do have Amazon Prime. You can use it once a month on a content creator that you do like. And it's simply just boom. You click that and there you go. The streamer now receives half of that revenue from the Twitch Prime that you've just used. And it's, everyone has them available if you have a Twitch Prime, so it's nice and easy. And that's something that Twitch holds over YouTube at the moment. And if YouTube implements some sort of feature uh, in the future that allows you to maybe give a free member or something to a streamer, that would be absolutely huge. And then I think that will be the turning point for YouTube in terms of the live streaming space. But why, going back as well to the whole Germa and moving to YouTube... He does stuff like this. All right, I'm coming at you. He done a Sims in real life. No, 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 no. Where the chat got, you, got to control you, you, what was happening you, you and stuff like that. Steve, keep away from me. Oh, fuck. Oh. Yeah. 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 Ah, oh, shit. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Absolutely insane. But it's that creative kind of stuff and the events that YouTube love. And as a platform, it's really, really cool. And YouTube have implemented, I did talk about this in the other video that we do have on the channel, about YouTube implementing monetization on short. Absolutely insane. They're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with TikTok, and it's going to be interesting to see how many people jump ship from TikTok 
to YouTube as well. I really do think, okay, it may seem like I'm really biased, <laughs> but as a platform, YouTube just seems so secure in the way that they only not monetize, like, monetize to creators, but also the versatility and stuff. If you want to do shorts, you can do live streaming, you can do long form. There's so much that you can do on the platform. It's so, so cool. But what I'm really curious to see if someone would do is have all three on one channel. I don't know if algorithmic rise, it would like kill the channel entirely, but they upload, they do a live stream. They finish that live stream. They send their viewership over to the YouTube video. They post that YouTube video. It does well because of the initial push from the people from the live stream that does well. And then you upload a short as well that then pushes back into the whole circle. So you've got your live streaming, you've got your long form and you've got your short form on one channel. I'm really curious if anyone does know any creators that are currently doing all three on one channel, then please do let me know and let me know the name of them because I really, I really want to see if it is doable and there's no information out there. Maybe I'll just try it and go, hey, this is what we're going to do <laughs> and see if this works. But I feel like over the next year or so, you are going to be seeing a lot more content creators moving over to YouTube as it just seems a lot more secure and we don't know what's happening with Twitch. And if they're doing what they're doing now, the longevity of it just makes it really uncertain. So even Code Miko and stuff like that are really thinking about streaming on YouTube or making content a lot more on YouTube. But that's everything uh, regarding the creators moving over and stuff like that. Uh, I'd like to know your thoughts and opinions down below and I will uh, see you very soon.